everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Allie and this is day four of Halloween. Now today I'm doing something a little bit different and making a very specific video. This time I'm going to be showing you a couple Halloween throw pillow ideas. Now I know what you're thinking, Allie, that sounds really boring. Why would I want to watch a whole video on throw pillows? Well, I promise you I have some really cute designs that I'm so excited to share. So let's jump in to pillow number one. Let's first start with this ghost pillow since it has a unique shape. The first thing I did was take two layers of white fabric and folded them in half. Then using that folded seam, I drew half the shape of a ghost and then took my fabric scissors to cut that out. So that way when you open up the fabric, you have a ghost shape and then you're just gonna wanna sew around the edges and make sure to leave a gap at the bottom. That way you can stuff it. Once that was done, I stuffed the pillow with some stuffing and then I used my hot glue gun to close up the hole at the bottom. However, you could stitch this up with a needle and thread. I just went the easy route here. Next, I got some pom-pom trim and I glued that along the line of the seams. Just to add a little bit of some spunk to this ghost pillow. And lastly, I wanted to add a face, of course, so I cut out two eyes with some black felt and glued those down. And then lastly, cut out a mouth and glued that down too. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a very easy envelope fold pillow. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is cut down your material to size. So I made sure that my material was cut to fit an 18 inch pillow, but of course accommodate whatever size pillow you are covering. After that, I double folded down the two shorter ends to create some seams, that way those don't fray, and I just sewed those up in my sewing machine. Next, pretending like those edges are hemmed because I didn't feel like resetting up my camera to get this shot. Basically, I just folded in the two edges so that they overlapped but still were 18 inches wide once they were folded. Then I added a couple pins to hold that in place and took it over to my sewing machine. Then all you have to do is insert the pillow into the opening and you have your envelope fold pillow. So using that tutorial, I made a solid black pillow and then got some sequin trim here and I'm gonna do a spider web shape. So I started by making a circle with the trim then began branching out in straight lines from that circle. Once I did that all the way around the pillow, which I kind of ran out of that trim when I was filming, so you'll need two spools to do this, I made the little connector pieces on the spider web. And here is the finished pillow. You couldn't tell in the DIY portion, but I did use hollow sequins, which I think is super cute. And then another take, and we're gonna make a cat pillow this time. So after you measure everything out, make sure that you have enough room that when you cut the ears down on the pillow, you will still be able to fit the pillow into the case, if that makes sense. You can kind of see what I do here. I actually folded the pillow in half and then drew an ear. That way they would both be even, just like I did with the ghost pillow. And then I just took some pins and pinned that all down. I went to my machine and sewed up the raw hems where the pillow opening is. And then I just stitched along the top where the ears are and both sides of the pillow. Then of course your cat needs a face, so I took some white felt and cut them into two almond shapes. And also then cut out a nose and two little pupils to put on to make some cat eyes. And as a finishing touch, I cut some very thin strips of felt to add little whiskers. And here is the completed cat pillow, which I think is adorable and so spooky. Those 
are my Halloween throw pillow ideas. I really do hope you love them and if you did find this video a little bit strangely specific, the reason is because I had to make and post this video now because after Halloween week is over, I plan on doing a big Halloween apartment tour and I wanted to share this tutorial before I posted that video. So if you don't want to miss that video or my very final day of Halloween week, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and then comment below if you've already decorated for Halloween or if you have plans to decorate for Halloween. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for the spooky season. And that's all I have for you this time. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!